Hello again, folks. Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on with my computer lately. It just, uh, the past, it, this is the second time now that Audacity has actually screwed up on me and, uh, kind of got, it made my audio all choppy and, uh, you know, it's, it's missing bits now. Um, so I just cut that video off right away. Um, it's a little longer than the last time that happened, which uh, I think made it into like a five minute video at the time, but, uh, that one I think we got a, a good 15 minutes out of before things went awry. So let's hope that never happens again. So, where were we? I was reading poems. Uh, I think this is where I left off. Uh, breaking into a home at night, the thief he had a nasty fright. Filled his foolish head with ale, woke in the morn in the county jail. <laughs> he had that coming. Uh, the artist, with his daunting skill, tried his hand at painting bills. But caught in rain, he was undone when the ink he'd used did start to run. <laughs> Idiot. With promises of great return, taking gold he did not earn. Jerk. Uh, bundled it up, bundled it up out of sight. Quietly slipped off into night. Three houses into ashes burned. The sheriff, with no place to turn, did spy a stranger to his town. Locked him up and beat him down. That sounds like possibly this man was falsely accused. Uh, dead man, dead men swing in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Six feet long and six men wide. Round their necks the noose be tied. So what we have to do here, folks, is basically find out um, who was innocent. Which, as you will learn by what we just read, it sounds like the arsonist um, was innocent. Simply because it sounded like the sheriff in this situation had nowhere else to turn and uh, pick the stranger of the town. So, now I just have to remember, after all that confusion, which one was the arsonist? I, I almost want to think it's this one. There's a rope hanging from the ceiling. Will you pull it? Go ahead, James. Okay. Is that good or bad? So now we run back to the first room, uh, where all the corpses were. And we hopefully collect ourselves a key. Hopefully. If I did that right, which it looks like I did. The key of the persecuted. So the arsonist was wrongfully accused. Just like Leslie Nielsen. Okay. Now. Folks, you and I... Are going this way. Am I still good for health? We all good to go? Yeah, we're fine. Let's go, folks. Oh, good. Another hallway. Oh, hello. You can't turn the handle unless you first remove the handcuffs. Well, lucky for you, Valve, I've got myself a key. Got it from the arsonist who was hung, hanged. Uh, I used the key of the persecuted. Perfect. Well done, James. Now open it up, good sir. Get that green jacket moving, buddy. There we go. Anything else in here, James? No goodies, no items. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, I don't want to go back down here again. Pyramid Head was here last time. Oh, don't run, James. Oh, man. It's locked. Fair enough. Okay, no pyramid head. This is good news. Right? Maria? Uh, oh! We made it! Maria? Kinda of forgot about her. Maria, no! No. Oh. What happened to you? It does not sound promising, folks. Why? Why? It's okay, buddy. Ugh. She's been, uh... She's been hurt, folks. Either that or the mattress was extremely filthy to begin with. Nope, nope, she's hurt. Aw. Are you okay? Are you okay? 
Maria? Maria? Mary. Nope. Oh, James. How many times has he had to watch this woman die? Oh, it's okay, buddy. Unless Pyramid Head's down here, in which case it's not okay, buddy. Oh. This way's open now, that's convenient. Okay, James. This poor man. How many times is he gonna have to see this happen? There's no Pyramid Head here, right? No, I can't look ahead properly. Oh. Unless he's at the top of this ladder. <laughs> Don't even joke about that. First aid kit. That's no joke. Oh. Um, okay. This building, whatever the hell it is, uh, comes equipped with its own graveyard. So, that's handy. But there is ammo everywhere, so... You know, that's not the strangest part about this room. Oh, I see something else over here. Yep, healing items. Is that a first aid? Nope, it's not a first aid kit, but I'll take it. Shotgun shells, I'll just jam those into my wounds, that's fine. Ooh, and a save point. Yes, please. Okay, so we're all saved up. Uh, what do these headstones read? There's a name inscribed on the tombstone. Eddie Dombrowski. We know him. What about you? Uh, Angela Orsco. Oh, that was probably her father we were reading about in that magazine earlier. Uh, ah. James Sunderland. That's, uh... That's great. Goody. Someone has already arranged a grave for me. Will you go down? I suppose so. Hmm. Map? Nope. No map of my grave. Oh dear. Another long, ominous stairway. Oh no, it's not too bad. Never mind, folks. Ugh, I can't get that image of Pyramid Head walking down the hallway out of my mind. Oh, brother. What's all this? Just keep running, James. It's fine. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. My goodness. Things just got red. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Oh, look, it's Eddie. How you doing, sport? What grade are you in? Eddie? What are you doing? What does it look like? He always busted my balls. Excuse me? You fat, disgusting piece of shit. You make me sick. Fat ass, you're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. Easy. Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. Jeez, buddy. The corpse can't laugh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just like that. Okay, buddy. Eddie, have you gone nuts? James, I think that's... I knew it. Oh. You too. You're just like him, James. <laughs> okay. Hey, Come on now. I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? I have. Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James. Oh, jeez. I thought he was kidding. Oh, let's get a, maybe a, a better weapon there, James. Perhaps a shotgun. Sorry, mate. Oh, run, James. You're welcome. We should probably uh, 
get some health there, right, buddy? Yes, we definitely should. Oh, Eddie. You fool. Ow. That's right. Run home. God. That kid's a jerk. Did he leave me any health, though? So, folks, Eddie, uh, as you can see, has uh, got quite the uh, quite the body count uh, at the moment. Let's maybe heal ourselves again, because I know we got hit there. There we are. Um, let's see. Reload that. I guess we could try using Pyramid Head's knife for a bit, right? Come here, big fella. All right, James, let's do it. See how this baby works, yes? Oh. Oh dear. This is disturbing. Do you know what it does to you, James? When you're hated, picked on, spit on, just because of the way you look, after you've been laughed at your whole friggin' life. That's why I ran away after I killed the dog. Allegedly. Away like a scared little girl. Yeah, I killed that dog. It was fun. It tried to chew its own guts up. Finally died all curled up in a ball. Jesus! He came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog. <laughs> Go up. Eddie. He's gonna have a hard time playing football on what's left of that knee. You think it's okay to kill people? You need help, Eddie. Oh, James. Don't get a holy on me, James. This town called you too. You and me are the same. Well. We're not like other people. Don't let me in with don't you. you know that? James? Let's party! Well, that was lame, wasn't it? Hit him, James! Okay, run now, James. He's going to shoot you! Yes! Well done, James! Well done, old buddy! Hit him again! Missed. Okay. Hit him! Hit him, James! You missed, buddy. You missed. But he's coming back. Oh, well done, James. The old pyramid head maneuver. Oh, dear. Well, he Eddie? had it coming. Eddie? I... I killed a... a human being. To be fair, James, he was shooting at you and... A human being. He also tried to punch you. Which I guess isn't as bad, but still pretty terrible. God, Eddie. That outfit. Mary. Did you really die three years ago? Well, put your gigantic knife away, James. Maybe have a... Maybe have a health kit as well. There you go. Still got plenty of them, so you, you, you may as well. Reload that. So, folks, as you can see, um, Eddie was a pretty disturbed little fella. Kind of, a, kind of a sad story. Clearly, he was picked on. Anything to comment there, James, on Eddie? No? Just going to look at him? Fair enough, fair enough. So... As much as I'd love to stick around in this freezer, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. Yeah. Oh, where are we now, folks? We're outside again, and it's daytime again. That's that's very good news. Okay. What are we doing? Oh yes, save point, please. Eddie. Okay. So now we're out of that horrible building. Full of surprises. Unpleasant ones. And... 
Kids, we are going on a bit of a boat ride. So, hop in. It looks perfectly safe. Right? Right. Okay. Let's go, James. So I guess we're, this is, this will be Toluca Lake. And I guess we are making our way to uh, the hotel. I presume. It's okay, James. You don't have to rush. That's some terrible looking water, isn't it? Really, really terrible. <laughs> I know that this um, this particular part of this uh, of this HD collection has a lot of hate because I guess the water looks really terrible and the fog. I guess I don't know. People aren't too pleased with the fog in this game. Now, I'm, I'm looking for a, for a light um, that we're supposed to go toward. It's not what you think. Uh, there it is. There it is, folks. That's our destination. Oh, back, back this way, James. There you go, buddy. Now, all we have to do... Not the easiest way to row, is it? It's okay, though. We're in no rush, right? Boy, it's ominous out here. Hmm. It's okay, James. You don't have to go this slow. Just keep going, buddy. Are we, are we moving? Are we even moving? I think we are, because that thing's coming up pretty quick. Go towards the light, James. There we go. Wasn't so bad. Nice work, James. Yeah, that water does look pretty terrible. Sorry, Silent Hill 2. Alright. Hop out, James. Mind your footing. There should be a sign. Rickety old boat. Now just hop out. Don't get excited. Just take it, take it easy, easy. There you go, buddy. Okay, I think, folks, we have reached the hotel. Is Mary here? That's what James seems to think. It's a hell of a place, isn't it? This place hasn't changed at all in three years. Well, it's not that long of a time, James. Okay. Now. Let's, uh, let's jump in. Let's explore this courtyard first, perhaps. Oh, hello. A Little Mermaid music box. Aw. It's a Disney-themed hotel, folks. Nothing wrong with that. Love me some Disney. Uh, what else? Anything over here? Oh, there's a fountain in the shape of a bird. No water is coming out of it right now. That's okay. Any uh, health kits before I head inside? No, nothing on the bench. Nope. All right, folks. Let's enter the hotel. Oh, and there's a map. I will gladly take that. What's this? Room 312. That's the room Mary and I stayed in. Mary, are you there? Or maybe. I got a hotel map for guests. All right, folks, well, I'm gonna end uh, this video now that we've got our map, so I can feel safe. And I will see you guys in the next episode when we explore this, uh, this presumably horribly creepy hotel. I'll see you guys then.